Hi guys. So today is Thursday and I'm just getting ready to start dinner. I'm actually making Instant Pot Pot Roast. So I'm super excited for that. I have a ton of meat in the freezer, beef and pork that I need to burn through as soon as possible. If not, it's gonna go bad. So I've um, been cooking as much as I can at home. We have not been eating out a lot. Um, so I'll show you what I picked up at the store. I just picked up a few things. I've been getting better about not doing bulk grocery orders and just getting what I need because we got to be pretty wasteful um, in the last several months. So trying to do better with that. So the first thing I have here is this um, Italian bread. Every, everything's from Meyer. Um, this was $2.49 and seems pretty fresh. It'll be good. I'll toast that up to have with our pot roast. I have some beef stock. I got these, the Little Potato Company Boomer Gold Potatoes. Never tried those, but I didn't want to buy a giant um, bag of potatoes and waste them. So that's what I got. Um, I got some tomato paste. This is a really great kind. I got um, two of these brown gravy packs and two of the au jus gravy packs. I don't know if I'm going to use both of those. Actually, I might deviate from this recipe because it's, it's got some things in it that I'm just not going to do. I'm going to do it the easy way. And I'm also not putting carrots in it because my family doesn't like carrots. And I only like raw carrots. I don't like cooked carrots. So. Let's see how this turns out. Also, I'm filming on my phone. You can probably tell by the quality because I left my camera in the camper at my dad's house. So I won't have that until Thanksgiving. So we stuck with the phone. So let's get this going. So the two, make that three, things I have to have next to me when I lay down in bed. Ice water. Okay. Melatonin, five milligrams. In a book. So I am super tired. I am going to lay down, maybe read a chapter or two of our book here, and I'm going to get some sleep. I am exhausted. I will continue this vlog tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday, and I am on my way to the office. Uh, normally, I work from home on Fridays, but... Um, last Friday, my internet was super spotty and it wreaked havoc on my day. I couldn't stay in a meeting. I kept getting kicked out. So today I am going to the office. I am going to stop and grab myself some breakfast on the way. I think I'm the only person out of my department going in, which is totally fine because it'll be nice and quiet <clears throat> in our department today. So I'm looking forward to that. I ha I'm in the middle of listening to an audio book, so I'm excited to listen to that and work today. I'm listening to um, the sequel to it, it, It Ends With Us, called It Starts With Us, and it's pretty good. I think I'm about halfway through. had a great week. I was so tired last night. Even this morning, I'm I'm still tired. But let me tell you something. That pot roast that I made was spectacular. The only thing that I would have done a little bit differently would be I would add a little bit less um, seasoned salt. It was a 
teeny bit too salty. Um, but the flavor was great. The texture was good. And the kids loved it. And my kids don't like anything. So I, I cut up the Italian bread and then we dipped that in the gravy and it was so good. And there's plenty left over for tonight. So I'm happy about that. Dawson actually asked me if he could pack it in his lunchbox to take to school for lunch today, but I had no thermos or anything to keep it warm for him. So I told him we would just have it again for dinner tonight. <clears throat> but I have to go get another loaf of bread because they really, they really enjoyed the Italian bread. So we actually have a completely free day tomorrow. We have no sports, no obligations, and I'm so excited for that. This guy is not gonna yield. He's just gonna keep on going. Okay, go on concrete truck. <clears throat> so my goal, I have three goals. One goal is to clean out my van and vacuum it. Take it through the car wash. Um, second is to clean out Quinn's room, go through her clothes, get rid of the stuff that's too small, sort of declutter her toys. And the third one was, what was it? Oh, I'm going to clean and declutter my kitchen cabinets. Get rid of the stuff we don't use. It's such a pain in the butt to put dishes away because I have way too much stuff and not enough space. So those are my three goals. And I asked every member of my family to make their own goal. So far only Dawson has made his goal and he said that he is going to go through his dresser and get rid of all of his stuff that don't fit or stuff that he doesn't like. So we're gonna be productive but also just have a chill weekend and I'm super excited for that. Actually Sunday night we are celebrating Dawson's birthday which was last weekend. He is taking a bunch of his friends roller skating, um, which is going to be super fun. I haven't been to a roller rink in probably a decade, if not longer. Probably longer. So I'm excited for that. He wanted it. <laughs> he wanted it to be a formal event, so he asked that I um, buy him a three-piece suit. To wear to his party which I did it is light blue I'm trying not to compare him to what's his name from dumb and dumber <laughs> who, wore, who wore the blue suit and then the other one wore the orange suit you know who I'm talking about but he's gonna look adorable I bought extra bow ties for his friends that are light blue and then Brit's grandma is making corsages for the ladies so it's gonna be really fun. They're gonna have a blast. I will not be roller skating, but I will enjoy watching the kids have fun and do their thing. But I will be at the office here in about five minutes. Actually, I'm gonna stop and grab myself some breakfast first and then I'll be at the office. So I will catch up with you guys later. Let's go see what we can find. My phone's being weird. Anyway, so I didn't find too much in there. Their prices were really high and there just really wasn't that much good stuff. There was a lot of vintage Tupperware in there. Tupperware in there. Um, but it was all in pretty rough shape and some of, the, some of the things I already had. And remember my goal this weekend is to declutter my kitchen so I didn't bring any home. But, I did find these frisbees. These are um, fris disc golf frisbees. And when we go camping, a lot of times um, the boys like to play that. And I think that they're different. Um, this is the putt and approach. This is the fairway driver. And this is the mid range. So they're different, different weights, I guess. I don't know. 
Um, I found these um, uh, Coriel plates. So these are super strong plates. These are vintage, but that's really not why I got them. I got them because they're super strong and durable. My aunt has had plates, I think identical to this one my whole life and they're really resilient and good. I don't spend a lot of money on plates at my house. Most of them, most of them have come from the Goodwill and some from Walmart, but um, you can't, you can't go wrong with Coriel dishes. And then one piece of clothing that I bought was this jacket. It's a, um, a faux leather jacket from Maurice's. It's large and um, it looks really comfortable. I needed a, a good coat. Um, not that this is a coat coat. I mean, it's not that heavy, but um, it'll be nice for this fall. And I thought it was um, in really good condition. It doesn't look like it's been worn that much. It just needs a, um, to be washed and then lint rolled. And I think it's gonna be fine. So this was $10, which is, which is more than, hold on a minute. You know what? I think this is a 2XL. I don't think this is gonna fit me. I thought it was a large. Anyway, I'll try it on and see what happens. Um, I ended up spending $20.23. You used to be able to get a lot more for that in Goodwill, but I think this, the, the search is fun. You know, going in there and not knowing what you're gonna find. It's like a little treasure hunt. So I still enjoy going. Now we need to find something to eat. There's a Sonic across the road. I think that's where I'm gonna go. And ocean water sounds really good. So I changed my mind and I got Culver's. I got chicken tenders. Now I'm sitting here in the parking lot getting ready to eat and I'm watching these guys build what I assume is apartment complexes. Check this out. apartment complex is going up everywhere. Actually, our town is about to get a new um, subdivision that's gonna house like 300 families. The problem is that our school is too small for that. So I think they're gonna have to build a new elementary school. There's too many people in the world our infrastructure can't handle it. I actually had a leadership class on infrastructure this week on Wednesday, and it was very, very eye-opening. There are a lot of people in the world. Good morning, you guys. Today is Saturday and I am going to go ahead and end this vlog so that I can start another one. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you like to, if you would like to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.